things to know, or, or I, what I would ask you is, why are you trying to replace it? Water being in their basement. Concrete does not waterproof your basement. Ask the right questions mm -hmm. and make sure you feel that connection. What are you doing now is amazing to me. <laughs> you're still out here working and you're making it happen for your clients. Justice, this is a special video to me because this is <laughs> Alex. Alex, what do you want me to call you? Because you go by, you have two names. Alex is my middle name. My first name is Juan. Uh -huh. Whatever is easier for you guys to remember. So I go back and forth, Juan, Alex. But um, so we met, uh, I want to say almost two years ago now, and I helped you purchase your home and then sell your home, right? That is correct. I wanted to shed the spotlight on you because you have a amazing business. So tell me your business name and tell us how you got started in your experience with your business. Okay, so uh, we started off this venture about five years ago. Uh, started off with uh, New Metro uh, Construction. We're going into New Metro Contracting now. What we want to do is we want to obviously divide the organization into specialties. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to bring in uh, the, the subcontractor that is capable of handling the project scope and taking it and completing it 100%. That is the what we, we're going to try to do 2023, mm -hmm. but it all started with New Metro Construction. Pablo and Benjamin right there. Say hi to the camera, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so what we got, what we have here, is we have a, a patio. It's going to be decorative stamp uh, patio. This is the layout that we're going to follow. And then we're going to come up here. We're going to rise, raise up the patio here. Oh, nice. You know, uh -huh. so one elevation. And uh, I'm now uh, the, the owner of New Metro Country. Oh. So we do. We specialize in a lot of uh, projects from very, very unique. Uh, design, 3D, uh, sketch-ups uh, to the client, driveways, uh, front porch extensions, um, interior renovation and remodeling. We do a little bit of everything. So now, like I said, uh, I want to make sure we start dividing and making sure we organize it into an umbrella system mm -hmm. um, and new metro contracting being the, the core and then from there, umbrelling out, branching out to the other ventures, you know, and giving the opportunity to a lot of our fellow colleagues to, to, to have their own organization and to also be representing us in, nice. at the same time. So. Nice. Let's talk about, like, what are you doing now is amazing to me. It's cold in Michigan. It's yeah. almost su the summertime or experience, like, I don't know if it's raining or hellin', but yeah. you're still out here working and you're making it happen for your clients. I want to just ask you, how do you separate yourself from your competition and then what are some of your competition in this market? Well, there's many competition. Um, if you want to like just separate what's concrete to concrete, yes, there is competition. Mm -hmm. What separates us is that we're bringing a total new, new way of viewing uh, and and organizing and orchestrating uh, a project. Mm -hmm. It all starts with a design. For most of our clients, uh, they were getting used to uh, someone coming out, drawing on a piece of paper, mm -hmm. you know, and giving them a quote. Uh, we have everything now more formalized. They get an email with an estimate uh, if they were looking for an estimate. Once they're going through the estimate process, they approve it. Uh, it goes into an invoice. After an invoice, if it's a unique design where, where we're changing completely the blueprint or the layout of what's existing, uh, and they're going into a custom patio, we completely design it from scratch. There's a lot of communication between uh, me and the client, uh, updating, modifying, changing, uh, so that way they can get a visual of where their investment is going and how we're going to apply it. Uh, it. We also separate from, we try to uh, be as cleanly as possible. Uh, job site, you know, yeah. uh, cleanliness is key. I need is like a power spur to clean off the dirt and yeah. stuff and get it going. Yeah, get it going. But, okay. but thanks, thanks yeah. for coming out and no, no, you no, know, being part of this as oh. well. Look, <laughs> getting wet with us. You know, so. I know. So I heard you say that what makes you different is the pretty much the consultation of the, the process. So how do you create the quote, the design? So how do you pretty much customize this every design to fit each client? Um, I basically hear them out. Yeah. Uh, I want to I, I wanna get to know them, get to kind of visualize what color schemes they, they're into, shapes. Um, there's many things, you know, that I, I listen to, but it's basically just listening to the client, what they want, and then we go into what are some of the things that you like, you know, exactly. color formats, like, again, uh, shapes. Uh, and then we go, we take it from there. You know, we take something 
Uh, sometimes the client has even asked me to just take it on on, on something that I see. Uh, I am very, very good with imagining and designing something. As soon as I get to a project, I envision something already. Yeah. However, it's not always where they give me the free range for me to design it because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it's what the client wants, right? Yeah. So when that happens, I just hear them out, get everything that I, I, I need. Uh, it's a list that I go through, and then once I have that, then I put it into a design for them. And not all the time is 100% at the beginning. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of times that something like this, just to get it into a drawing, it might take two to three weeks. The changes could be made in a drawing easier than yeah. having to do it on site, because then it, it, it costs money, you know? Yeah. And that's what we, that's what separates us, you know? It does? Okay, nice. So, um, as far as when you're doing quotes, do you have them do a deposit down or... How does that process go when you're collecting so, money? So, so like I said, we start off with the, just a basic estimate. I hear them out. I, I kind of have a design already in mind. Uh, I know the square footage, uh, and and there's a dollar amount associated with it. Uh, it's not firm because I really don't know if they're going to be adding more items to it. But we start off before going into a rendering, like a 3D rendering uh, rough draft. Uh, we start off with a $500 deposit just to. Make sure that we're going to continue with the project. There's going to be continuous uh, commitment from both sides. And we put the client in the books, you know, because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, there's nothing like drawing it and also putting the client in the schedule, right? Because that's what we all want, you know, not just putting it in a piece of paper, but actually taking it into full course of effect. Right? And so let's talk about the projects that you typically do. So right now we're here in um, Birmingham, right? Birmingham, Michigan. You're at a house, but you just don't have um, clients like homeowners. You have other clientele so tell us about the people I, that reach out to you i have uh they range not everything is residential we do uh commercial work as well uh we do uh church outfits uh parking lots mm -hmm. uh stairs um you name it you know we, we do it we we have a good range of uh, commercial and residential mm -hmm. um and i also work with a lot of developers as well uh these developers go into a community and they purchase uh, many prop, a lot of property, and then they call me, you know, yeah. to update them or, or yeah. to modify them or to fix them, you know, yeah. uh, and then we go from there. Yeah, I really, I really wanted to bring you um, on my channel so you can um, pretty much share your experience with people because this is um, honestly concrete is, and what you do as a contractor is really important to my business as well too because a lot of times when you have an FHA loan and if the concrete is a uh, like twenty five. Like inches um, un unleveled, then that typically needs to be Perfect. fixed, you know, because it's unsafe, right? So, like, do you, far as stuff like that, far as filling in, like, cracks and stuff, do you prefer to do something like that or overall just pro bigger projects? So, um, our, our projects are not all uh, big, uh -huh. uh, but I always, always recommend the best investment for a client. When they come up, when they when they ask me to come out and I don't do mud jacking, uh, I don't do uh, shaving of the surfaces. Why? There's there's many pros and cons. Pro is it's a quick fix. It's okay. a bandaid over a problem. There's okay. a problem uh, that's not fixing the problem. So therefore, uh, I don't I don't participate in that. I can recommend it because sometimes it just needs attention right now. Uh, but I also recommend them to in the future. To we gotta correct it. We gotta fix the problem, right? Mm -hmm. So um, many of the times, once something has shifted, uh, there's something underneath happening. We gotta take that out, and we gotta know what the sub the sub uh, surface is, right? Mm -hmm. What's underneath there? It, it might be a root. It might be uh, washout, you know, of, yeah. of, of uh, sand or whatever the the soil that was used underneath. Right? So cracks, we gotta identify why it cracked, right? Mm -hmm. Has it been moving a lot? Have to do the same thing. The, vet, the the solution to the problem is to rip and replace. Not all the time it can happen in that manner, but I explain to the client of what what they're trying to achieve and what is their best uh, outcome with their investment. You know how how can I save this and make sure that, uh, that that my money is well invested. This project won't be done till next week because okay. there's a process to it. You know there's okay. there's not just laying the concrete. You have to wash it. You have to seal it. You have to cut it. Okay. Well, you have to. The order wasn't correct, but you have to wash it, cut it, wash it again, and then seal it. Okay, so guys, like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube if you want me to come back so you can see the finished product.
project, right? Yes. It's, it's kind of cold. I can't even talk right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's not everyone signs up, you know. It's just, it comes with a job. You have to submit a lot, and uh, there's obviously, there is competition. Uh, all I tell people is make sure you write the, ask the right questions, mm -hmm. and make sure you feel that connection with your contractor, mm -hmm. you know, to get the best result. Because if you start off already not even connecting, mm -hmm. uh, the project might be well, but there's going to be a lot of buts about it. Mm -hmm. But if you're connected with the contractor 100%, you're going to be like, there's a no-brainer. There, there's a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. We're connecting. He really understands me. You know, there's many factors to it that you guys will just connect and just take it and finish it and be the most successful project, you know, and the easiest one to, to, right. to do as well. Let's act like I'm the buyer, right? Yeah. And I come to you. What are some of the questions that I should ask you, like, as I'm begging you to do a, jo a job for me or a project? Well, uh, as a client, uh, you want to have a clear understanding of what you're trying to uh, get done. Mm -hmm. And if you don't, you want to entertain the idea of possibly getting something. You at least want to have the distinction of what type of project you're going to go into. Mm -hmm. Concrete, uh, interior, separating those. Mm -hmm. So when you come to me and you say, hey, uh, Alex, I want to get a concrete driveway. The concrete driveway is more likely going to be the entrance to, you know, the property driving on top of it. Things to 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 uh, know, or, or what I would ask you is, how much are you trying to replace of this driveway? Mm -hmm. Is it the whole thing? Is it partial? Uh, what? Why are you trying to replace it? A lot of times they call me for water being in their basement. Concrete does not waterproof your basement. Uh, that's totally separate. You have to waterproof the basement. Uh, concrete will not solve water issues in the basement. Um, that's probably a big thing. People should pay attention to that. So concrete do not solve water in the basement. It, it does not. Um, it alleviates some of the water, but it does not solve it. Whoever comes and tells you Lay concrete, you'll be all set. Uh, it it could be a coincidence that it happened and it worked for them. It alleviates some of the water because you're obviously pitching away from the house, but it's not going to solve it. If there's a if there's an issue in the basement, there's a waterproof issue that you have to fix. And the only way you can do that is to dig around the entire perimeter and then waterproof it, right? Um, but you know, get a clear understanding why you're doing the project. Is it just because aesthetics? Or is it because you're trying to solve another issue? You know, and if the other issue cannot be solved 100% with concrete, then you have to be willing to talk about it, right? Mm -hmm. And I could bring those uh, options for you. Mm -hmm. You know, I could I could point you in the right direction, mm -hmm. or I could help you fix the problem. Wow, that's amazing. So you just said, because some people um, won't be honest about it and just hear a client concern about what's going on. But you will actually say if if getting a con or getting a driveway done will help them or not if they're trying to alleviate something that's completely different than yeah the reason why they're doing it so that's that's amazing that's honorable of you like i said i'm all about clients best investment yeah you're investing money into uh, a, a property i want to make sure your investment goes the, the, the longest uh way possible mm -hmm. so how long have you been actually doing this so i started this gig uh when i was very young my dad had his own uh construction firm uh, he sold it, um, and then I went into the union. I was a union worker. Mm -hmm. I was representing uh, local 1076. Shout out to them. Um, <laughs> it, I was in the labor union. It all started as a side job, uh, doing small little projects, um, uh, and then the volume started to get very heavy. You know, like we were literally every day had something to do right after work as a side job. It, it got to a point that <clears throat> me and my business partner for New Metro Construction. Uh, it got to a point that one of us needed to leave their comfort zone, which is your nine to five, mm -hmm. if you want to call it that, and just explore a hundred percent, uh, a true business. Right. And that's what we did. Uh, we ventured out and ever since we left, uh, I didn't leave because bad terms, we left to, to take on, uh, take on this, uh, uh, this goal of setting up your, your, your company and be different and make sure you grow uh, and give opportunity to others. Uh, the, the, what I mean by that is, is not only us, it's them as well, you know. They're here, they're working, uh, we're providing for all of them, you know, and that's what we're here to do. So we're growing and we would love to take on more people as we grow. Listen, this may be a job opportunity for you, who knows, right? 
because you ventured right. off, you're starting something new. Congratulations to you on that. So I just want to remind the, the audience, what's going to be the new name of your company? And then it's coming soon, so we're, we can't disclose all the details yet. So uh, we started already on some of the social media platforms. Uh -huh. Company is registered and everything, uh, and we will slowly uh, uh, grow that out. Um, it's New Metro Contracting. Uh, that's going to be the, the, the main hub for many of these organizations and uh, the, the one that will provide many opportunities for, for fellow colleagues to open up their own venture to, you know. So that's what we project uh, coming very, very soon is going to be coming very fast. Mm -hmm. um, but we want to make sure that we're well stru structured in that manner and we're excited, you know. We're excited to bring on to, to that to the table because we hear our clients. Mm -hmm. We're bringing something that's more... Uh, organized and more separated and uh, that way the customer gets the best experience. Right? Wow, that's amazing. So you're focused on what the people need and you're structuring your business around that. So that's yes. really going to make you stand out from everybody that think they're in competition with you because yeah. what? It's, <laughs> oh, your business is going to prosper. I know it is. I'm There's many goals. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Uh -huh. Our phone number is 213-641-0018. Any questions, concerns, or potential projects that you're looking into, mm -hmm. just give us a shout and we'll start from there. So as I expressed to you guys earlier in the video, we're working on, well, <laughs> you guys and your team we're are working on this wonderful project. So you definitely want to stay tuned because in the next video, we'll, we'll be talking about um, what's new going on with your business, how things are going, and also I'll reveal this finished project. It's going to look way different. You know, I can't wait. I'm excited. And hopefully the sun is out, hopefully. right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. And also in the description, we'll have his number, the name. You can reach out to Alex or Juan. <laughs> um, <Same person>. <laughs> right. <laughs> I am Cherie. Um, hope you learned something from this. And if you need anything done, you can reach out to me as well, and I'll connect you to Juan. So um, thank you so much for watching. And like, subscribe. And... Yeah, that's it. <laughs>